you lord jesus this one will give you glory give you honor give you adoration lord jesus thank you lord for this wonderful day that you've been the lord jesus who will rejoice and be glad in it O lord jesus thank you lord jesus for seeing this one wonderful day thank you lord 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 you say glory honor majesty be to your holy name in the name of jesus thank you lord king of kings thank you lord lord of law thank you lord mighty king oh lord we give you praise jesus we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise lord we thank you lord we thank you lord, we thank you, lord jesus my son for this wonderful day that you have made the lord glory be to your holy name lord jesus glory be to your holy name glory be to your holy name king of kings my son in the name of no one like you lord no one can do the things you do thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus for giving us victory lord just over every opposition that will stay to resist us from sin this very day thank you lord jesus glory to your holy name in the name of jesus my son in the mausoleum for this one we worship you we say glory honor majesty be to your holy name in the name of jesus for we commit to them to end oh lord jesus and that you take charge of everything we do today in the name of jesus my son away so our spirit so embodied to you oh lord jesus master father take charge take charge take charge our going out our coming in oh lord jesus every activity that's embarked today oh lord jesus for let your spirit guide us let your spirit lead us oh lord never us from every evil in the name of jesus we wish shine your glory in the name of jesus must send any more if i use also lord jesus must in any more need to lift your banner all over anywhere we are today in the name of jesus 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 we give you praise lord and rise oh lord jesus and let your enemy be scattered in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord and this hour lord you will hold the ends of the earth we shake off every evil we shake off every evil every wickedness every program from peter fell against my spiritual body we shade them off, we shade them off, we shade them off in the name of Jesus. My son, in the name of Ria. Every rearrangement of the divine destiny that you have for us today, every rearrangement of the program that you have for us today, we start in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Let our dear Lord Jesus come down like the dawn in the name of Jesus. My son, in the name of Ria. Let the perfect will, your perfect plan for our day today, Lord Jesus. My we, we command them oh lord jesus to take hold of the day in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus glory be to your holy name in the name of jesus we pray for our lord we dedicate this program to him as we sing as we read your word as we for our lord let that be refreshing speak to us oh lord open our eyes heal deliver set free use this program this one to encourage in the name of Lord, to explain master to speak to someone Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we
Worship his holy name from now to the rest of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. King of kings, thank you, Lord, for opportunity to see this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My son, in the most so glory, 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 glory to you, Lord, King of kings. Oh, that we give you praise this moment in the name. Of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hi, welcome to this 22nd of September 2024. Hallelujah. Let's go now to the Word of God, Book of Joshua, chapter 10, from verse 1 to end. Joshua 10, 1 to end. Spirit of God, speak to us, open our eyes of understanding this morning. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go. Jerusalem heard how Joshua had captured Ai and had devoted it to destruction, doing to Ai and its king as he had done to Jericho and its king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them. He feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, like one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai and all its men were warriors. So Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent to Hoham, king of Hebron, to Piram, king of Jarmuth, to Jephiah, king of Lachish, and to Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up to me and help me, and let us strike Gibeon, for it has made peace with Joshua and with the people of Israel. Then the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon, gathered their forces and went up with all their armies and encamped against Gibeon and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent to Joshua at the camp in Gilgal, saying, Do not relax your hand from your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us, for all the kings of the Amorites who dwell in the hill country are gathered against us. So Joshua went up from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said to Joshua, do not fear them, for I have given them into your hands. Amen. Not a man of them shall stand before you. Amen. So Joshua came upon them suddenly, having marched up all night from Gilgal. And the Lord threw them into a panic before Israel, who struck them with a great blow at Gibeon, and chased them by the way of the ascent of Beth Horon, and struck them as far as Azekah and Makeda. And as they fled before Israel, while they were going down the ascent of Beth Horon, the Lord threw down large stones from heaven on them as far as Ezekiel, mm -hmm. and they died. Mm -hmm. There were more who died because of the hailstones than the sons of Israel killed with the sword. Mm -hmm. At that time Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord gave the Amorites over to the sons of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand still at Gibeon, and moon mm -hmm. in the valley of Ajalon. Mm -hmm. And the sun stood still, and the moon stopped until the nation took vengeance on their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? The sun stopped in the midst of heaven and did not hurry to set for about a whole day. Mm. There has been no day like it before or since, when the Lord heeded the voice of a man, mm. or the Lord fought for Israel. Mm -hmm. So Joshua returned and all Israel with him to the camp at Gilgal. These five kings fled and hid themselves in the cave at Makeda. Hallelujah. And it was told to Joshua, the five kings have been found hidden in the cave of Makeda. Amen. And Joshua said, Roll large stones against the mouth of the cave and set men by it to guard them. Mm. But do not stay there yourselves. Pursue your enemies. Attack mm. their rear guard. Mm. Do not let them enter their cities, for the Lord your God has mm. given them into your hand. Mm. When Joshua and the sons of Israel had finished striking them with a great blow until they were wiped out, and when the remnant that remained of them had entered into the fortified cities, then all the people returned safe to Joshua in the camp at Makeda. Not a man moved his tongue against any of the people of Israel. Mm, amen. Then Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave and bring those five kings out to me from the cave. And they did so and brought those five kings out to him from the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And when they brought those kings out to Joshua, Joshua summoned all the men of Israel and said to the chiefs of the men of war who had gone with him, 
Come near. Put your feet on the necks of these kings. <laughs> then they came near and put their feet on their necks. And Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid or dismayed. Be strong and courageous. For thus the Lord will do to all your enemies against whom you fight. Amen. And Amen. afterward Joshua struck them and put them to death. Mm -hmm. And he hanged them on five trees. And they hung on the trees until evening. Mm -hmm. But at the time of the going down of the sun, Joshua commanded, and they took them down from the trees and threw them into the cave where they had hidden themselves. Mm. And they set large stones against the mouth of the cave, which remain to this very day. Mm. As for Makeda, Joshua captured it on that day and struck it and its king with the edge of the sword. He devoted to destruction every person in it. He left none remaining. Mm. And he did to the king of Makeda just as he had done to the king of Jericho. Then Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Makeda to Libna and fought against Libna. And the Lord gave it also and its king into the hand of Israel. Mm. And he struck it with the edge of the sword and every person in it. He left none remaining in it. Amen. And he did to its king as he had done to the king of Jericho. Then Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Libna to Lachish and laid siege to it and fought against it. And the Lord gave Lachish into the hand of Israel and he captured it on the second day and struck it with the edge of the sword and every person in it as he had done to Libna. Then Horam king of Gezer came up to help Lachish and Joshua struck him and his people until they left none remaining. Then Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Lachish to Eglon and they laid siege to it and fought against it and they captured it on that day and struck it with the edge of the sword and he devoted every person in it to destruction that day as he had done to Lachish. Then Joshua and all Israel with him went up from Eglon to Hebron, and they fought against it and captured it, and struck it with the edge of the sword, and its king, and its towns, and every person in it. He left none remaining, as he had done to Eglon, and devoted it to destruction, and every person in it. Then Joshua and all Israel with him turned back to deeper and fought against it, and he captured it with its king and all its towns, and they struck them with the edge of the sword, and devoted to destruction every person in it. He left none remaining, just as he had done to Hebron and to Libna and its king. So he did to Deber and to its king. So Joshua struck the whole land, the hill country and the Negev and the lowland and the slopes and all their kings. He left none remaining, but devoted to destruction all that breathed, just as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua struck them from Kadesh Barnea as far as Gaza and all the country of Goshen as far as Gibeon. And Joshua captured all these kings and their land at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. Then Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, to the camp at Gilgal. O oh Lord God of Israel, fight for me, O Lord. Contend with every part that contends with me, in the name of Jesus. Contend, O Lord, contend, fight for me, fight for me, fight for me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And that song says, we are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Judah to the sea. Though that giant may be on the way to hinder, the Lord will surely give me victory. The Lord has given us victory already in the name of Jesus. But we continue to move, O oh Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the power, in the power of his might, in the name of Jesus. Every fear, every intimidation, we put them under our feet in the name of Jesus. You see the grace we continue to move on. To move on. To move on. In the name of Jesus. For now, as you grow to an end all this opposition, the same way every opposition that they have been facing our life, both spiritually and physically, they have been brought an end. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us another victory Lord today. Thank you, Lord God, for those new ground that you have claimed today. Thank you, Lord God, for your blessings. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. You may now go. Let's go to the um, book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 15, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 15. But some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers... Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Mm. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem 
to the apostles and the elders about this question. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them, and to order them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? Mm. But we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, Amen. just as they will. And all the assembly fell silent, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul as they related what signs and wonders God had done through them among the Gentiles. Amen. After they finished speaking, James replied, Brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first visited the Gentiles to take from them a people for his name. And with this the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written, After this I will return, and I will rebuild the tent of David that has fallen. Mm. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will restore it, that the remnant of mankind may seek the Lord. And all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who makes these things known from of old. Therefore my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who turn to God, but should write to them to abstain from the things polluted by idols, and from sexual immorality, and from what has been strangled, and from blood. For from ancient generations, Moses has had in every city those who proclaim him, for he has read every Sabbath in the synagogues. Then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barsabbas and Silas, leading men among the brothers with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the brothers who are of the Gentiles in Antioch of Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that some persons have gone out from us and troubled you with words, unsettling your minds, Although we gave them no instructions, it has seemed good to us, having come to one accord, to choose men and send them to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay on you no greater burden than these requirements, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols, and from blood, and from what has been strangled, and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So when they were sent off, they went down to Antioch, and having gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter, and when they had read it, they rejoiced because of its encouragement. And Judas and Silas, who were themselves prophets, encouraged and strengthened the brothers with many words. And after they had spent some time, they were sent off in peace by the brothers to those who had sent them. But Paul and Barnabas remained in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. And after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us return and visit the brothers in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord, and see how they are. Now Barnabas wanted to take with them John called Mark. But Paul thought best not to take with them one who had withdrawn from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And there arose a sharp disagreement, so that they separated from each other. Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and departed, having been commended by the brothers to the grace of the Lord. And he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. He went through strengthening the churches. 
May the Lord help us, help me and you to stop being a baby, to become strengtheners. Those who will join these apostles with this legacy that they left, especially the poor, in the name of just strengthening the church, strengthening the church, strengthening the church, strengthening the church, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, this morning once again, O Lord. And I pray, Lord Jesus, you strengthen us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord Jesus. Every distraction, O Lord Jesus, over our lives, over the ministry. Father, we call them up this morning in the name of Jesus. We command our spirit, soul, and body, O Lord Jesus, to be infused, master, in here, in the work of ministry in the name of Jesus. Because when you get your, yourself in the work of the ministry, praying for other people, praying for some pastors, praying for the whole world, you are indirectly strengthening yourself, you are indir indirectly getting yourself more, more matured, more earlier. In the process, you know, the distractions and, and, and the confusions that, that the enemy projects will not be able to have, you know, hold in our life because we are fully occupied with the things of God. Hallelujah. Remember, it's the will of God for all of us to be engaged in the service of our King. And that you're a pastor, as far as you're giving your life to Jesus Christ, you should engage in the service of the King, because that's what is this, is the Lord requires from you and I, us to, to continue to you know, present ourselves as a holy sacrifice, you know, praying for brothers and praying for our sisters, interceding for our nations in the process. Since we, you know, doing this all the time, you know, morning, night, and, and all the time without season, we are indirectly refreshing ourselves in the presence of God. And again, in the process, you don't have time for the things of the world. You don't have time, you know, running here and there looking for, you know, what is not looking for you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. You see in the, in, the, in the book of Apostles, the Apostles are busy, engaged, engaged in ministry. That is what is expected of everyone who is called a Christian. Remember, we all are priests, not just the pastors, we all are priests. And therefore, there is a portion that the Lord has allocated to you wherever you are, that vicinity you are, that place you are living. The Lord expects you. Even if you, you don't, the Lord expects to be interceding, praying for your community, praying for your neighbor, praying. And God help us in the name of our open our eyes to the opportunities all around us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now we're going to go straight now to the confessions. Hallelujah. Or the confessions. Now let's move on to Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus, who gave you praise. The Lord is my shepherd, you shall know what. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with Hallelujah. For you are with me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, your rod and your start to comfort me. You prepare to be from the pains of my enemies. You anoint my hair with oil, my cup overflows. Share the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. In the name of Jesus we pray. In Psalm 59, 1 and 2. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil and save me from Dr. Simeon. In the name of Jesus we pray. And there's Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Hallelujah. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. In the name of Jesus. 
and you cover it with its pinion, and other is when you find refuge. And if there is a sheet in the buckler, in the name of Jesus, you will not fear the terrors of the night, and the hour of night by day, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No, the person that talks in darkness, no, the destruction that was at one day, you will not fear in the name of Jesus. My son, the most of the people, a thousand before at a certain thousand at your right hand, it will not come near you in the name of Jesus. You will only look at your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked in the name of Jesus. We pray, amen and amen. Because you have made the Lord your only place, the most high is my refuge in the name of Jesus. No evil shall there not be for you, no play will come near your tent in the name of Jesus. For you command his angel concerning you to guide you in all your ways, and their hand will bear you up. Unless you strike your foot against the stone, man, then the more so could be You will tread on the lion, the other, the young lion, and the serpent, you shall trample on that foot. Because you hold fast to me in love, I will deliver him and protect him. Because he knows my name, when he comes to me, I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble. In the name of Jesus, I will rescue him and honor him. You know, my will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And yes, Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hand for war and my fingers for battle. In the name of Jesus. He is my steadfast love, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my sheep. In whom I take refuge of those people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him? The son of man that I think of him. Man, son, a man is like a bread. His death is like, it's like, like a passion shadow. Hallelujah. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Put the mouth and so the smoke. In the name of Jesus. Man, son, a man so could be able to Not for the nightning has scattered them. In the name of sin, I will rule them. In the name of Jesus. My son, in there, stretch out your hands from all head. Rescue me and deliver me from the ma many waters, from the hand of the foreigners, whose man speaks nice, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus. My son, I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. I will pray to you who give victory to kings. Who rescue David, his son, from a close world. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of the foreigners, whose man speaks nice, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. My son, the most of the world, whose mouth speaks like those right hands is right hand of falsehood. May our throne in their youth be like a plant full grown, and not that like a corner penis, call for a sort of a penis. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. May our glory be full, providing all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus. May our sheep bring four thousand and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with you and suffering them in sight of failure and bearing. In the name of Jesus, may there be no cry of distress in our streets. The best are the people to whom some blessing fall. The best are the people whose God is the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 1 to 4 from verse 1 to end. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, many people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flow would have swept us away. Mm, hallelujah. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who have not given us as a prey to their feet. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, we have escaped, because our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heavens and the earth? Thank you, Lord Jesus, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Lord Jesus, in the way maker who is worthy of our offering. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. And just bow before him. 
thank you, Lord, King of Kings. You are my King, you are my Lord, you are my Savior. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, this morning, Lord. Glory be to your holy name, O oh Lord Jesus. For those who are not giving their life to Jesus Christ, they died on the cross of Calvary for you. This morning, I want you to repeat this word. We say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I've sinned against you so many ways. Forgive me, save my life, Lord, from destruction. In the name of I surrender my all to you, Lord Jesus, this morning. In the name of Jesus. And I confess that Jesus Christ died and rose up again to give me death. And this morning, I set him as my Lord. Come into my life and be the Lord of my life. In the name of Jesus. And I give my spirit to and to you, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. And I pray in the name of Jesus, let every skill, let every spell be destroyed this morning. And let your spirit begin to connect in the name of Jesus to the spirit of the living God. And let the light of God shine in every area of your life from now to the rest of your life. In the name of you, become a deliverer, become master, a walking miracle, become an altar of the Most High from now to the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. And this morning, we, we decree and declare peace over Jerusalem, Israel, United Kingdom, and all the countries of the world. To make our leaders to be an instrument of peace, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding today. And forever in the name of you, deliver them from every form of destruction, protect them from all evil. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, Lord, let this week, oh Lord Jesus, be master, be filled with victories, with miracles, with signs, with salvations, with great things, oh Lord. Father, use all this week, oh Lord, like never before. In the name of Jesus, we pray. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Love you all with everything in us. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all. See you again next time the day. In the name of Jesus. Go and continue to shine the light of God. In Jesus' name. Shalom to you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.